Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to 30 Days of Sketches Series 10. We're on to day 21 and today's sketch is brought to us by the lovely Jennifer Kane. I love this, you guys. There are going to be some fun interpretations for this one. I just know it. First of all, you could rotate this, um, cut it in half and it could be a traveler's notebook. I see that just like right off the bat. Um, so anyways, I'm really excited for this one clean, simple, leaves lots of room for interpretation, which I think is sometimes a really good thing. It's fun to be able to just have like the quote unquote foundation and then be able to build off of that as you go. So of course, we're going to start with Jennifer and Jen is a eight and a half by 11 scrapbooker, but um, horizontal. She makes some of the most amazing layouts. They are always so stunning. And this one is yet another example of just her fantastic style. So she's got these adorable photos of her son. And is he just not, first of all, the cutest thing ever? I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate that. I know he's uh, um, a bit older now, but uh, man, he, is, he, he just, every time I see photos of him, I just smile. He's so stinking adorable. Um, and she's got, she's just followed her sketch, right? She's made it to size, work for her. She has that fun little border down at the bottom. This is about a trip, um, I guess, seeing a stingray. So a bunch of ocean and aquatic things. She's got sequins for bubbles. She's got um, mixed media for bubbles and all sorts of really neat things. And I just love it. I love her sizing. I love her style. And it's a really great representation of her sketch. Next up, we have Lisa, and Lisa, it's so, so stinking cute. I love it. So she has um, kind of like blown up the sketch a bit, if you really look at it there. And um, she's got a fun, big, bold title right in the middle, and then her photos are stacked on top and right on the bottom of it there, and just works really well. She's got some beautiful papers that she's working with, but plus the cut file that really highlights everything. And she's just done a, done a really beautiful job of following the sketch, um, keeping it within the simplicity that Jen has with the sketch, but yet adding um, her, Lisa, adding her own flair to her layout to fit her style. And I love it. Now we have um, Jeannie here, and I love this. Okay, first of all, she, I mean, you see the nod to the sketch, but she completely, she made it her own. And I just, I love it. I love it. I I love it. Um, so she's got torn papers, she's got banners, she's got two fun little photos with a stack of pattern papers underneath it, a really fun, bright title. It looks like it's one of those um, clear transparency titles that are really hard to use. So that's a great example of how to use it. Um, this is obviously pool photos. So summertime, having fun, rainbows, water, bright colors. I just, there's just nothing bad to say about this layout. It's just so stinking cute. So I love it. I've saved this into my personal um, piles to scrap lift because I just think it was a really fun, fun take on this sketch and um, an example of the complete opposite, right? So she has gone um, and really taken a lot of liberties with the sketch to make it work with her style. Um, Tina did two layouts because she was so inspired by it. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you both of them. So we have the first one, which is just pretty much following the sketch right on, right? She's got the photo placements, um, a fun little cluster there. Again, a, a water um, theme with some mixed media. It's super cute. This is why the sketch is great. It would be quick, quick, quick to get it done. So she's gone ahead and done that. And then she took a little bit different take on it, right? She went ahead and did the torn papers. Um, she's done some fringe there. And she's kind of like um she her photo is i don't know the word correct is not what i'm trying to say but that's what's coming out of my mouth um she's got that place but then it's like she's rotated it with the fringe and having it off to the side which i think is really neat and her title is sideways uh so that's just a fun interest to it and that fun grouping of tags there really love it so both of them are really cute tates and i definitely wanted to highlight both of them because she did take the time to make both of them we then have Stacy, and how stinking cute is this? 
<laughs> First of all, that title is fantastic. She's got upper and lower case and she's made it work for her with the Elvis that she has. She's done mixed media. She's done stamping with the cute little cat paws and it's a photo, photos of her cat. Like there is adorable. So she's followed the sketch pretty closely, the layering of where the photos are. And I just think it's a really, really cute, fun example of you know, making it work for her and using, I love her mixed media, how she's done that. But that title, the way she's done her title, um, it is my favorite thing. Like, I just think that's really fun and unique. We then have Jeanette, and I think that wraps it up. I think that gets us to our sixth. And Jeanette has gone ahead and done just one photo. I love this. Now, she has placed it um, and then layered in some groupings of embellishments where the other photos would be. Now this is a really great example because maybe you only have one photo for your story that you're trying to tell with this particular sketch um, and you don't want to dig through your photos to try to find more photos to work. Well here's the perfect example. You take the one photo, figure out where in the sketch you want it to be placed and then you replace the other two places that the photos are and you make them embellishment clusters or whatever you want them to be. You can put a pocket card there. You could do like Jeanette has done and just do um, clusters and you're still following the sketch. You can still see the representation, but yet you get that one um, really special story. And this, I think, probably is a pretty special story um, there with that one photo that you've taken and your story is now represented on a layout. So I love that. I love the different takes. I really hope that that helps inspire you. There are going to be, I know, a ton of different interpretations on this one because that is what Jen has done. She's left this sketch up for interpretation, which means you're going to get a ton of variety. So make sure you head on over to the Facebook group if you're on Facebook so you can see all the different takes. Um, Instagram is hashtag 30DSCBL10. I know I haven't posted that one in a couple days, so we'll make sure that it gets up again. Um, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's Friday, so we're getting into the weekend. Oh, we're so close. Um, yes, it's kind of officially fall here, so I'm a little bit excited. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.